we are setting up a voice AI agent, the easiest part is to set things up. The toughest part is the telephony. And yes, we can purchase numbers from retail and VAPI directly, but they come with a lot of limitations. To go around those limitations and get our product to production, we have to buy our phone numbers from Filio. And in this video, I'm going to go through the entire process from start of how to buy a number from Twilio, how to do all the settings, and lastly, how do you connect those purchased numbers to your VAPI or retail account? So I'm gonna cover both of these in one single video. And for those who are new here, hi, my name is Resh, and I'm the founder of Talkflow AI. At Talkflow AI, we specialize in deploying voice AI agents that can act as customer support or outreach agents at scale. The use cases vary from an AI receptionist, automatic Shopify customer support, to even social media agencies using us for their outreach campaigns. If you're looking for anything of that sort, check out Talkflow. If you are a developer who wants any consultations for their voice AI agents, links to book one would also be in the description below. And for now, let's jump right in to our Twilio dashboard. This is your Twilio dashboard and I have made a new account just to show you how you can do from absolute start. So when you sign up for a new Twilio account, you will be having a trial account and you'll get somewhere around, I think, 10 or $12 to start with so that you can just try around, buy some numbers and then you can finally upgrade your account when you are ready for production. So this is the dashboard that you will see when you first sign in for Twilio. From here, you have to go to phone numbers and click on manage and click on buy a number. And from here, you can buy whatever number you prefer now there are so many options right here so you can choose any country probably you'll be buying for the us and you can select what specific capabilities you want your number to have i would prefer to have everything and then you can have a criteria that you can search for a specific locality or a specific number if you have that preference and then you can match the first part or anywhere or these are just combinations that you can uh, figure out if you want a specific kind or type of number Okay, so let's say I search for a number which has 412 in its first part. And you can have all these numbers that you can buy. Every number will have what capabilities it can offer you right now. And almost all of them will have voice, SMS and MMS. I don't think you need fax for any reason. Anyway, so you can buy this and right away you will be charged uh, $1.15 at once. And I think if I click buy, so this will be a monthly fee and you'll be charged this every month, obviously. And any other usage that's incurred on this number would be charged in addition to this monthly fee, which means this is the minimum that you will pay to keep this number every single month. And this just tells me that it has all these capabilities inbuilt. To enable SMS and MMS, you'll have to go through something called as A2P 10 DLC registration. So going forward, you can just click buy. And since I already have a number, I'll just show you what that is. And this is my phone number that I have for me. Now to link this number to any provider like Wappy or Retail, you have to do something called a SIP trunking. So for that, you just search for SIP trunk right here. And we go to Elastic SIP trunk. By the way, Twilio says Elastic SIP trunks. That's a term that they have. So we are in here as Elastic SIP trunks dashboard. Now you will create a new SIP trunk. You can give it any friendly name. And since I already have one, I'll just click right here. And this would be how your SIP trunk would be looking from the start. So the first thing that you will do is scroll down and enable a few things. One thing you'll enable is this one, which is called call transfer SIP referrer. This by default would be disabled. Just enable this. And you also have to enable this option, which says PSTN transfer. Once you do both of these, click save. So now your general settings are done. Now we'll go to termination. This is for outbound calls. Okay. So now, First of all, you have to give a termination SIP URI, which can be anything that you wish for your business. This would be important later. So let's say I give it as top flow biz and it should check availability. And since it's available, it's available to me. And so for any of these regions, if you want to have it, you can have this particular SIP URI instead. But we would be in US region one. So this is fine. Now we have to add authentication. So I'll click the plus icon. Now here I have to create access control list. So I'll just go to the VAPI documentation and see what's the IP address of their access control list. So this is the VAPI uh, documentation for the Twilio. And here they should provide us 
with the VAPI server static IPs. So I'll copy this one and I'll go here and I'll just say VAPI1 and this should be 32 and VAPI1 create ACL. So this is done. Now, once again, I'll go back and I'll choose this. VAPI2, click here, 32, VAPI2, create ASL. Okay, now once this is done, that's all you need to have for the outgoing authentication. So we'll click save. And now we'll go to origination, which is the settings for the inbound calls. So we'll click here, which is the origination UI, and we'll copy this URI from VAPI settings. So we'll go to VAPI, and where is the outbound? So this is what the format looks like. So first of all, we go back and we see what's the number that we are having for us. And we'll copy this number. And then we go back to our elastic sync. Go to origination. And here, first of all, I paste the format. And then I'll add my number. Make sure there's there are no spaces in between anywhere because usually when the problem occurs, it's usually a white space that has snaked in from somewhere. So this is done. Priority is 10, weight is 10, it's enabled and I click add. Okay, now all this is done and everything is saved. Now we go to general and just verify if everything is correct. Now the last thing that remains is we have to add our number to this trunk. So we'll go to the numbers tab and we click add number and we can click an existing number which we have right here and we click add selected. And that's it. This is all you need to do to create a SIP trunk in the number that you just bought from Twilio. Now the last part is how to actually link this SIP trunk to your VAPI so that you can make or receive calls from that number. And that is extremely easy. For that, we go to VAPI dashboard and we go to phone numbers and we go to create phone number and then click on import Twilio. Here we have to add our phone number like that and we have to just add two things. One is Twilio account SID and second is Twilio auth token. Where do we get those? We go back to our Twilio dashboard and we go to Twilio home and you will see it right here on the dashboard. So you copy the account SID, paste right here, copy the auth token, paste right here and table for number could be Talklo AI. Okay, so we already have this number here, so it's showing a duplicate, but you know how to now import your numbers once the SIP is created. And once it is imported, you can select which agent will act as the inbound one right here and which agent will act as the outbound one right here. So I think VAPI is now pretty clear. Let's go to retail and let me show you how to do things there as well. So retail is slightly different and these are the docs for retail. So first of all, these are the uh, default settings that in general we already have done. Now we come down. Now here we also have our termination URI created. Let's check that. Go to termination. And we have the termination UI right here. And now here we have to add new IP address retail SIP servers that retail will process and not VAPI. So we go to access control list right here. And here we have VAPI1 and VAPI2. We delete that. And instead we have to choose these IP addresses because this is the range that retail operates in. So we'll click on plus and we will name it as retail AI1 and use this. I click create ASL and then again, a second one, which would be this, right? And this is done. So this is all that we have to do right here. We click save. Now we go to origination. And here the retail origination URI would be different from VAPI. VAPI's origination URI is dynamic and it depends on what number you are having. But retail works in a different way. Retail's SIP servers are static and they have this address of their live cloud provider. So we copy this and we delete this one. 
we click add and we click this make sure we don't have any spaces either in the start or in the end which is fine 10 10 enabled add okay so this is also done now we just have to check if the number is added which is which it is and that's all that's all you have to do to get your twilio zip trunk linked with retailing now we go to the dashboard and we add our number by zip trunking and here we have to paste our number in this format now here it's different between retail and vapi in vapi we have to use vapi's termination uri but in retail we have to use our termination uri what's the difference we go back here we go to termination and we have to use this one. So I copy this here and exactly this one. Make sure you are copying every single uh, point and there are no spaces. We don't have username and password right here and we can have it named as top flow AI. We click save and when we click save, if everything is correct, it should add that will be a number and sync it with our retail dashboard. So now it should sync up and we should have our new number right here. And the provider is custom telephony, which is our filio. Now here also we can select the inbound and the outbound agent. And now your number is completely ready and synced with retail to be used in whatever way you wish. Before you go, since you are on a trial account, there would be a limitation on which number you can call to and which number you receive the call from. So even after doing all of this, if you try to make any calls in retail or VAPI, it would not ring. The reason is that in trial accounts, Filio has a limitation that every single number that you call or calls you has to be registered as a verified caller ID inside your Twilio dashboard. I know it doesn't make sense. Like why would I register somebody who's calling me? But that's how things work in Filio. So let me just tell you how to do that. So we go to dashboard and we go to phone numbers. And we go to manage and we go to verified caller IDs. Now, this is the place where you have to register again both the number you're calling to and slash or the numbers you're getting calls from. It will make no sense, but that's how it works. So, you add a caller ID and you add a number and you will get the SMS verification code. Just add it right here, link to your account, and then you'll be able to make test calls. To bypass this whole verification all you have to do is to just upgrade your account and you can add your verification documents and your credit card on file and once you do that this limitation will go away and you can freely do calls inbound or outbound from your twilio number if you have any more questions you can drop in your comments and if you want any consultations from me there's a link for that as well and i'll also invite you to check out topflow ai which is my brand where I create voice AI agents for a lot of business use cases. If you are a customer, you're welcome to try Topflow AI. And if you are somebody who is making voice AI agents and you have any questions, you can also book consultations. The links would be in the description. And as always, like, share and subscribe if you found any value in this video. I'll see you in the next one.